this one is for all you cat lovers. On Saturday, you'll have the opportunity to check out several of these furry friends right here. I had a chance to meet a few of the competitors at the Park in Radisson Resort in Kissimmee where the event will take place and they are absolutely beautiful. I also found out why that specific cat takes the name of Ragdoll. Meet Ira, not the Greek goddess. She's a five-month-old kitty. As she sits still while her owner spruces up her silky fur, it seems as if she knows they're getting her ready for the big event. We love the breed. She's a ragdoll breed that came all the way from Brazil to compete in the fourth semi-annual Ragdolls Around the World Cat Show, a competition that will be held for the first time in Florida since it started in 2013. We have 38 breeds coming. We're going to have, I think, 62 ragdolls. It's a very popular breed here in the U.S. In Brazil, they are, I believe, the second most popular breed. Marilla Rocha competes in cat shows regularly in Brazil. This will be the first time his feline friend will be going for the championship internationally. They're very affectionate and they go around with the owners. The name ragdoll, he tells me, is because their body becomes flimsy when they're carried. Pretty similar to an actual ragdoll that little girls play with. They always want to be around their humans. You know, if you're sitting in a room, he likes to play fetch. Kim Walkling arrived from Kansas. At home, she has about a dozen furry friends, but she only brought three of her ragdoll kittens to compete. They just, they fall in love with the breed, you know, so, and it's just a beautiful cat. It's a breed that's likable because of its personality and intense blue eyes. Some, like Ira, have distinct features. You can see the contrast in the color of the fur on her face. It looks like a V. Although ragdolls are the most popular, they aren't the only ones competing. All kinds of breeds. We're going to have um, probably Abyssinians, uh, Brits, British short hairs, American short hairs, uh, Devon, Devon Rexes. It's a very, very classy looking cat and, uh, and easy to maintain. You know, so it's a big draw from that. I mean, people, once they've had one, I mean, it's like potato chips. They can't just have one. Mm -hmm. Organizers told me that part of the proceeds from the cat show will go to rescue groups. For more information on how you can get tickets to the show, visit clickorlando.com. And I know a lot of people here at the station, one of a few, I know Kirsten and our producer Haley has uh, ragdoll cats. Yeah. Yes. I had a, a Siamese, a Mr. BB, who used to look Mr. sort Beebe. of like a ragdoll. He was a rescue. I love that they're giving back to the rescues. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yes.